I want to welcome the GMs and the wives, the godly men and the warm, inviting, feminine, empathetic women out there. My name is Thaddeus and this is the Regal Change YouTube channel. And today I was out exploring and I saw this waterfall I've never seen before. So I wanted to stop by and take a look. Wanted to bring you guys along with me for the ride for a second. Today's topic is on coming from nothing to create something. If you are someone that maybe didn't have the opportunities or even the knowledge of certain opportunities that you were maybe just unaware of that could be a possibility growing up, and now you've gotten to the point to where you are someone that you want something more for yourself and you want something more for your life in general and you want something more for the people around you you want something more for just life in general right you're just that kind of person and you are trying to create something and you're coming from a place where there was little or no guidance at all. What I'm trying to do on this channel and just in life in general, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a route for people to learn more about life and to recall and remember that in life it's more about remembering who you are than what's happened to you right and what exactly do i mean by this because well let's face it the world has become pretty degenerate <laughs> the world has become a pretty degenerate place and it's very challenging for people in general to believe in something more there's little possibility for life to really be exuberant and express itself fully when everybody around you is trying to just do something for the sake of pleasure, right? They're not actually trying to build the life and everybody's trying to use other people. Everybody's trying to just use people to get to a place or they're trying to use things to get to a place and it's like this is one of the reasons why the regal change academy which is if you want more information there's a link in the description box below this is why we created regal change academy it's free to enroll and we want to use this academy to help you grow we don't want to use you to help the academy grow and this is one thing that i think distinguishes not just the Regal Change Academy and my business in general and the way I operate in life, this is what distinguishes the real and the true from the fake and the illusions and everything of the sorts. It's remarkable how little in society people actually want to make a life better for themselves and they actually want to make a life that is more I would say, I don't even know the word for it because there's no words to really describe certain feelings that you're going to have on this journey. And if you are someone that is trying to, trying to grow in your spirit, you're trying to see more of the world, you're trying to have an adventure of life by speaking the truth into being, as Jordan Peterson would say, right? If you're trying to get to these things and these places, without using people it's almost like the world <laughs> they punish you in some way they don't reward you for that and so this is one of the reasons that you know there was a story that i told somebody recently and maybe it might be good for you guys we were talking about business and the business world and i was networking with this person and you know he was talking about what his goal was for his entrepreneurship and his business and all that and he was telling me about his experiences in the business world and I was telling him about my experiences in the business world because I've worked with a lot of different kinds of people in my life 
And especially in the work that I do, I, my day job, I call it, I've worked with a lot of different kinds of clients and just people in general. I work with a lot of different kinds of people and it's a blessing, but it also helps you gauge what's really going on and how people really think in the world. And so I was telling him, you know, about this boss that I used to have like four years ago. And he was telling me about how this is just how things are set up. This is just how life is in the real world. And I was like, well, I don't like that. I don't like that we have to treat people as objects in order to gain something profitable, whether it's spiritual wealth or whether it's materialistic wealth. I don't like that. I don't like that that's the route that we have to take. I don't like that that's the route that we have to go. And so at that point, I was like, man, one day I'm going to create something that allows people the opportunity to actually grow within something. And if they're the ones doing the work, they're the ones that are going to get the most benefits. Because how often do you have your, your whatever you're doing in life, how often is it that somebody else is actually benefiting from your work? probably a lot and this is one of the reasons why I think self-healing and healing self-trauma has become so I would say it's become so apparent to me that people don't want to necessarily do the inner work a lot the reason for it is because they don't necessarily believe that it's going to benefit them down the line and it's because we've been programmed to think that well, you're not like, even if you do heal yourself, like what's in it for anybody else, right? And you'd be surprised how much healing yourself and how much focusing on yourself can really influence not just your life, but everybody else's lives around you. You're going to be someone that can walk into a room and just based off of your energy alone, you're going to be able to impact people's lives just by your presence. And that's not because you're like some, <laughs> it's not because you're some like God and Olympian, right? It's not that. It's just more like you just have a soothing, calming, inspirational presence and aura about you in which you can actually live a life that other people can look at as an example of what to be like and what, how to live. And that's ultimately the goal, right? This, this is one of the reasons why I follow Jesus. Jesus was the prime example and was an exemplary example of how any human being could potentially live. You can potentially, potentially, excuse me, you can potentially live such a life like Jesus if you just so desire and if you so choose. And if you also wanted to actually make something that is going to have an everlasting impact in the reality that you live in. This is one of the reasons why creating something from nothing is so cool. But it's also kind of scary, right? Because if you're someone that has come from nothing, let's say, you've come from nothing. And I know what that's like in many ways. And there was a time in my life where I was practically... Like my biggest goal at one point was to just not eat ramen noodles and, and ice cream. That was my biggest goal that I had at one point. And it was because I was broke as a joke and I was in school full time. I was working full time. I was doing all of these things for what? Like I really didn't know. All I knew was that I had to get somewhere. Like I had to get somewhere. I had to be doing something. But this is the sick society that we live in today, right? We live in a sick society where at the age of 18, you're told, hey, go rack up hundreds of thousands or thousands of dollars in debt, whatever the number is. It's still debt. Debt is debt. Go rack up thousands of dollars in debt and then live a life that is filled with anxiety and depression so that you can get prescriptions for that anxiety and depression so that you can constantly treat the symptoms but never treat the actual illness itself, which is a spiritual illness. We live in a society that is a spiritually dead society. 
there is a God-shaped hole in our society because so many people think that you're going to get something by using other people or by using other things to get somewhere. True life is about relationships. True life and true meaning in life comes from building sustaining livelihoods built on the family, God, and the individuality of a person. Your personhood is sacred. And this is what so many people get so wrong about religion, about spirituality itself. There's just so many things going wrong with what people are being taught. And I'm not going to say that I have all the answers, but I'm here to tell you that I'm living proof of someone that has come from a godforsaken background where there was there was not God. <laughs> there was there was not God. God was present, but he was he was present with me, but God and love was something that was foreign in that household and in the environment that I was growing up altogether. And I'm not trying to dog on my family or dog on the environment that I was in. I'm just speaking the truth of the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is there was little to no support and encouragement. I, I had emotionally absent people everywhere in my life. And I didn't realize for the longest time, I thought this was something that I didn't even realize until I was healing myself. I didn't know if there was actually a healthy person on the frickin' planet. I had no clue. I was like, does anybody know how to be not toxic? Like, does anybody know? Does anybody know how to be healthy? Because even the therapists, even the therapists here, I could tell these people don't have themselves. They've memorized a bunch of stuff in a book. They've memorized a bunch of things to talk to you about. They've asked you cert certain questions just to pass the time. And they're not actually getting into the root of the issue sometimes. Like, they're not really doing that. They're literally being paid to keep you sick. And I realize this, and I'm not saying this is what all therapists or all psychologists or whatever are like. I'm just saying that I, I went to several different ones and I even went to a group counseling or group therapy at one point when I was like 21, 22. This was when I was going to the food shelter for food and the food pantry for food. And I was doing these things and I was like, these people don't know what's going on. They don't know themselves. How could anybody that doesn't know themselves possibly have anything of substance for me to take in and how could they have anything in their spirit to pour into me? They didn't, they didn't. And that was just the fact of the matter. So if you're trying to create something from nothing and if you come from nothing, believe me when I tell you that it's possible, you have to get the knowledge though because you don't know what you don't know. Well, how do you get the knowledge? How do you even, how do you even know what you don't know? You have to keep trying things. You have to keep doing things. Go to certain places. Go to the places in which the people that you know are not trying to improve their lives are not. <laughs> well, did I say that right? How do I say this? Go to the places that you... Yeah, I think I said that right. Go to the places where the people that are not improving their lives, you know that they are not that, at those places. That's where you need to go. And you'll start to meet better people. You'll start to meet better opportunities. You'll start to learn more about life. But most of all, go to your heart and go to your spirit. Because ultimately, you and the Most High God are really the closest relationship that you'll ever have on this planet. And if you don't have a relationship with the Most High God, you're not going to be able to have a relationship that's solid with anybody. So if you come from nothing... First, seek the kingdom of God, and all else will be added unto you, right? That's, that's how the Bible says it, and this is true, because I've experienced it for myself. Anyways, I hope this message was useful and insightful, and until next time, peace be with you.